Now that you have learned about the different types of posts that you can make in your Google Classrooms, I'm going to show you how to reuse a post and how to move a post to the top. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use my 5th grade ELA Google Classroom um, simply because I have a lot more things posted in it and it will make more, uh, a little more sense. So um, at the beginning of the year, I posted a link to a book log for my students in which I wanted them to keep track of the books that they read. That book log announcement is at the very, very bottom of that long list of announcements and assignments. Um, and so just to make it a little bit easier for the students to find and kind of to bring it to the foreground of our attention, I could click on the three dots in the top right corner of the post and click the one that says move to top. By clicking this, it's going to take this announcement and move it to the very top of um, the Google Classroom so that when students look at the stream, it's the first thing that they will see. Um, the other feature that's really nice is that you can reuse a post. So each week I give my students uh, just read something homework. The template for the homework stays the same every week. So instead of doing a new um, post for a new assignment each week, I can simply reuse one from before. So let's say I was posting for next week's homework and this was this week's. Um, I could simply go to plus um, I'm going to click reuse post. It's going to ask me which class the assignment is in that I want to reuse. So I'm going to go to my fifth grade ELA class and select that one. And then it's going to give me a list of all of the assignments and announcements that I've had um, since the beginning of the year or since I've had the classroom made. So I'm going to go to the one that says just read something 1113 and I'm going to click reuse. Now one important thing to note before I click reuse is here on the bottom left corner um, it says create new copies of all attachments. Um, by leaving this checked it is going to create blank copies of the original template from the original assignment for the students. If I were to unclick that then it would use the same attachments as before. So every week I want to give them a new copy so that they can do that week's new homework. So I'm going to click reuse. At this point I have the opportunity to edit the assignment in any way that I would like. So I'm going to change this from just read something 1113 to just read something 1120 and I'm going to change the due date to Friday, November 20th. I'm going to save that and I have it making a copy for each student. Now I don't want to go ahead and post this because I don't want it to be available to my students until next week so I'm going to hit the down arrow and click Save Draft. Now when I get to the top of my Google Classroom my draft will be there so Monday morning I can come in um, click on the draft and assign it then.